About an hour ago here in Washington, D.C., Special Counsel Bob Mueller took to the podium and delivered his first ever public comments on the investigation into the alleged Russian interference of the 2016 U.S. presidential election. In his nearly 10-minute statement at the DOJ, Mueller took no questions. So for more on this story, let's turn to RT's Caleb Maupin with more. Caleb? Absolutely. Now, when he spoke, he was essentially announcing that the special counsel's office is closing, that the investigation is over. Uh, he then reiterated essentially what was in the formal report that has been made public and examined by both Congress uh, and the president, the executive branch, and the public overall. He reiterated some of the contents of that report and then did not take any questions. This is Bob Mueller. If we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. We did not, however, make a determination as to whether the president did commit a crime. The introduction to the volume two of our report explains that decision. It explains that under long-standing department policy, a president, president cannot be charged with a federal crime while he is in office. That is unconstitutional. Even if the charge is kept under seal and hidden from public view, that too is prohibited. Now, you'll notice that he was simply reiterating that what was in the report. Uh, that they had not reached a conclusion regarding the issue of obstruction, whether or not the president had committed a crime. They were inconclusive about it. And he was emphasizing that under U.S. law, the Department of Justice cannot formally charge a sitting president with a crime. That's not how U.S. law works. Uh, that's not how the Constitution lays things out. However, uh, when it comes to the issue of whether or not there was any collusion uh, between uh, uh, the Russian government and the president of the United States and his presidential campaign, uh, they were pretty clear there was no collusion. Uh, what Trump has said from the beginning about no collusion having taken place, that seems to be the conclusion of the report, as many people have read, and as we heard from Bob Mueller uh, speaking uh, this morning. Now, um, it's important to note that roughly uh, 32 to $35 million was spent on this investigation. Now, after the remarks, there was quite a reaction on social media, we heard from U.S. President Donald Trump. He spoke up saying nothing changes from the Mueller report. There was insufficient evidence and therefore in our country, a person is innocent. The case is closed. Thank you. So essentially reiterating, no collusion. This report is over. And there seem to be many forces on social media, many voices speaking up, agreeing with the president. However, there are some that are reading into Bob Mueller's uh, statements and saying that this is somehow a veiled call for impeachment proceedings to begin against the president. So it seems that Bob Mueller's words, the 10-minute statement he gave, is subject to interpretation. He did not take any questions, uh, did not engage the press, simply gave a 10-minute statement. And it's important to note that Bob Mueller also mentioned that he will be retiring from the Department of Justice. He will no longer be serving as a U.S. federal attorney. All right. Thank you for that, Caleb Maupin. It's certainly nothing groundbreaking breaking happening there. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you. Hey, YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.